everyone, it's Tori, and today we are going to do a video that I haven't done in quite a while, and that is a thrift haul. Uh, if you're brand new here, hello and welcome. My name is Tori. I also go by Girly Girl Style uh, across the social universe, and I'm into a lot of different things. One of uh, my passions is actually being a thrift and vintage clothing advocate. Um, it's really important to me to be sustainable, but also fashionable and thrifting is one of the many ways that you can do that. So, um, together with my husband, partner, and best friend, we actually run, uh, a business, which is online selling clothing that we rescue. And, um, it is how we are going to be able to retire early. So all the claps and snaps and celebration for that. This year, however, I have taken a bit of a different focus. So in the past, I actually started the reselling, which is the term that uh, is used. I started the reselling business in 2018 um, and it has morphed. It is it has taken so many different iterations. Um, but, you know, I got really big into selling vintage, uh, giving lots of vintage tips to the community. And um, at this point, I'm done with reselling. I know, I know. Um, those of you that watch this content for the reselling, I'm so sorry, but uh, I just don't have the time these days. Uh, life has taken many different turns in the last couple of years, but that's not to say there won't be any uh, reseller related content. I'm going to still continue to do hauls because I'm still a part of our small business. I am the sourcer. I am the one that goes out and purchases the, um, the items to resell. And then the hubs is the one that's going to be running that side of things, but I'm always available to answer questions and you know, I'm going to show you what I got. Cause I'm really excited. Now today's thrift haul, I'm going to do it a little different. Um, we used to do these live and have a little interaction. Um, but what I was able to do or what I remember to do in my brain that never remembers anything, I remembered to get footage while I was in the thrift store today. So uh, if you like watching uh, other people thrift and seeing what they picked up, this will be the video for you. So after we take a look at the, uh, um, in the store content, then I'll wrap up by showing you all the pieces that I did pick up. There's a lot of vintage. Why? Right? I'm not selling it, but I'm going to be doing some like mystery boxes. Probably. Um, I just can't leave them behind. I can't when there's a good piece. I can't let it sit there. I don't want it to end up in the landfill. Um, so I'll do the haul at the very end. Uh, and, uh, yeah, so let's dive in to the adventure that is the thrift store. Woo! We're at the Ark. This is one of my favorite thrift stores. They always have really great sales on Saturdays. It's a pretty big store and I always grab a car and then I start in the shoes. I was so excited when I saw these. I knew they were Sorrel right away, but the price was way too high. They were not 50% off. I ended up grabbing these two pairs that I knew would sell well. Um, and then I saw these Kate Spades that I was in love with. They are so stinking cute. They were $10, not on sale, but they came home with me anyway. Then I saw these vintage Doc Martens and I was so excited again. And then I saw the price, womp womp. But that's okay, they're still cool. When I turned around and looked at the hat section, I saw this hat and I was like, this is so super unique and cool. And when I flipped it over, I saw there was an autograph on the back. It was Naomi and Winona, the Judds from 1990. It was $10 and absolutely it came home. They had a lot of bags and purses. I looked through all of them. This one right here, for a second I was excited, and then no way, fake, 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 uh, Dooney and Burke. Other than that, there really wasn't anything that made me excited in the purse section. My next stop was dresses, and one thing I always look for if something's out of place, and immediately my eye went to this skirt. Um, so this is like a 1970s style, the wrap denim, and it has the Levi's logo. So it was super cool. I did pick that up. Uh, the price was right, and it was 50% off. And then this two-piece right here, I had never heard of this brand, but it was this pioneer two-piece style. It was so fantastic. I am obsessed with this. Now this piece, do I have an addiction to animal print? Yes, I do. And I decided I wanted to upcycle this, so stay tuned for a fun little project to come. I made my way to the jackets and I found this gorgeous camel coat. I'm always looking for those, they always sell. This one was beautiful, it was kind of a cocoon style, oversized, it was vintage, but oh yeah, that price tag right there, no way, but I loved it. 
pink sparkles snowsuit vintage oh my gosh I wanted this so bad but again $30 just it was too steep for me but oh so cool I really like the style with the blanket stitching on this piece but at $7.99 full price it just was a little too pricey but super unique now when I'm in the skirt section, I'm cruising down and I always stop when I see plaid because kilts are amazing. I love them. We have sold a number of them and this one right here is super cool and unique. It's a small size, but um, I picked it up anyway. If you know me at all, you know I'm obsessed with flowers and I had to get this Rosalie of California vintage uh, open front card again. It was gorgeous. Sometimes with thrifting, it's hit or miss, and you'll go down rows and rows and not find a darn thing. Luckily, I found one cute vintage sweater going through these two racks, but other than that, it was kind of a bust. Now, Bill is gonna kill me. I did pick up this really unique vest. It's been there for the last few months because I remember it the last time I went. Um, no brand, but it was just too unique, and it was only $5. Okay, as I start to wrap up, I always end up in the fabric and textile section. And did I do well? Uh, yep. Oh my gosh. So many great fabrics that I can use for my sewing projects. I am uh, stoked. The last section was the home goods. I found this gorgeous serving tray and unfortunately it was cracked, but it would have been perfect. And of course, after I sorted, I had to do the obligatory picture with my cart and this is what I ended up with. Okay, so I'm not gonna show you obviously everything that you saw already in the video, um, but I'll show you a few of the extra things. So I did find another bag. I forgot um, that I got this one. So this is a fossil bag. It's vintage, it's leather. We've actually sold this exact style, I'm pretty sure. Um, it was $8 and for us, that is a little pricey, but it's real leather, it's fossil. And I think the last one we sold that was probably, I wanna say in the $40 range, um, it's, it's, it's quality stuff. So I did get this one for Bill. I didn't get very many items for us to resell, um, but I did end up with quite a bit of vintage pieces. Uh, now I already showed this to you in the video, but I have to show it again because look at this. I don't think you saw the goodness of it. Like you could just wear it with a pair of high rise jeans. It is so pretty and it has a prairie skirt with it. So it has this it's not linen, um, even though it feels kind of linen, but it has these knife pleats and it is a uh, midi, uh, yeah, it's a midi, so it hits about mid-calf. So this was gorgeous. So of course I had to show you that. Um, fabric wise, to get a better look at the fabrics that I got, um, just take a look at this. This is a vintage sheet set. It's a whole set. Uh, you have the, um, whatever this thing is, the wrinkly part. <laughs> Not the wrinkly part, what do you call it? A fitted sheet. You have the fitted sheet and it also has the other sheet with it. And uh, yeah, there are some stains on it, which are, it's kind of my favorite to pick up damaged uh, home goods or home goods, uh, damaged textiles, because then I feel like I'm giving them a second life. Because yes, you could still use them, but you know, a lot of, I don't know. I don't want stained sheets. I don't know, but I will certainly buy them for fabric. And there's so much because I have the two large pieces that I can make like a dress or a two piece set or something. Um, this is gonna be so cute for spring. I cannot wait. Now this one is, and you may have seen it in the video in the haul or in the footage, but look at this quilt. I mean, I, I it's not a quilt, it's a comforter. It's a comforter, but look at this. It is quilted, but it also, has the most precious uh, eyelet lace all the way around and then it's like it's scalloped and I mean it's gorgeous it's so fantastic and of course in my mind I'm thinking oh guess what I could do with this I could turn it into a jacket I don't know if I'm gonna turn it into jacket it's too pretty I don't know if I want to cut it up but I did think there were some stains on it so again if there's stains on it I will definitely be giving it giving it a new refashion on life um, for sure um, oh, I did buy something for myself. <laughs> okay, I couldn't uh, resist this. Although Bill told me, he's like, this looks too small for you, but it's just a t-shirt. It's just a J. Crew t-shirt. But today I was inspired because I wore these vintage 1970s um, flare, you can't see, but you may have seen them in the video, uh, jeans. And I was like, oh, this with these jeans would be so 1970s and I just need to get some roller skates. So I did get that for myself. It was like $1.50. Uh, what else did I get? You saw the skirt. Here's the sweater that I ended up um, of the road that I only picked up one item. 
So these vintage pieces that I picked up, I'm actually going to be doing like semi mystery boxes. Um, so essentially I'm going to mark them up so that I make my money back and then make a little bit of money, but then I'm not going to mark them so high that other people can't you know, list them um, and resell them. Or if they're just into wearing vintage, they would get a really good deal. So like this gorgeous wool, let me look at the details. And of course there's fabric all over it, thread all over it from my sewing room. Uh, but it's just so, the details, both shoulders and then it also clasps. So that was so pretty. I ended up getting one of these like 1970s secretary skirts. It is a midi great plaid wool what else is in here uh did oh some more fabric so they actually had fabric this store always gets people donating their fabric so i have this plaid again i'm thinking this would make as we get to spring this would make a really great like jumpsuit so stay tuned for that um this is the weirdest thing this fabric, I don't know why I grabbed this because it did something to me, maybe because it was the red, white, and blue, but it's like tennis and ping pong, racquetball maybe. I don't know. It just looked kind of fun and unique and it might be a great summer um, fabric. So I got that. So other than that, I think you've seen everything that I picked up. That's it. Um, so hopefully you liked this video because it took a little bit of work to edit and get together and remember to film while I was at the thrift store. So please give me a thumbs up. If you did, that tells me to keep making this content. If there's other content you want to see, let me know that too down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, and uh, yeah, let me know how you're doing in the comments. We haven't chatted in a while. So that is it, everybody. Until next time. See ya.